What's up, people? It's Belief, and today we are going to be looking at four of my favorite primaries to be running in Warzone right now, and we'll be also comparing them with the Amax just to see how good they are. So, first off, is going to be my number one favorite gun to be running right now, which is the Ram 7. And what we are running with the Ram 7 is going to be the Mono, the FSS Ranger, the VOK, Command of War Grip, and the 50 rounds. So this has to be my favorite gun to run right now besides the Amax. The Amax is still a great gun to use in Warzone, uh, especially even after the nerfs. But I've always had a soft spot for the Ram 7. I guess the Ram 7 is starting to shine a little bit more since everyone's trying to find out what's also really good and competitive in Warzone. But the Ram 7 has great recoil. It's not that hard. It is a little bit unique to use, I guess, recoil wise, because it does slightly go to the left, um, but it doesn't go up too high vertically. And the other issue with it is the 50 round mags. But once you get used to the 50 round mags, it's not that bad to use, just like the Amax, right? Everyone complained about the Amax only having a 45 rounds, but then everyone got used to it and it's not that bad. The same thing with the Ram 7, guys. Once you get get used to the 50 round mags it's not that big of an issue and then one of my favorite things with the ram 7 is being able to mount it and having almost no recoil while you're mounting the ram 7 so these are just some of the things why i like the ram 7 all right and let's go ahead and look at my favorite secondary assault rifle to be using so it's gonna be the ak-74 cold war so it's a great sniper support but this is a primary ar build you're gonna be running the groove suppressor liberator for the fastest bullet velocity the three times scope and then Spesnaz grip and the 45 round mags. You can run the 60, but I feel like 45 is just enough. The reason why the AK-47 Cold War is so good is because it has the same damage profile or similar damage profile as the Amax. Uh, the biggest issue is being able to control the recoil. So why would you want to run the AK-47 over the Amax? One of the main reasons why is because all the Cold War assault rifles actually have a better movement speed compared to the Modern Warfare assault rifles. So that's one good reason why. A second good reason is because they are slowly nerfing the Amax. And I feel like the Amax is still in a really good position. So I wouldn't be surprised if they slowly adjust the Amax one more time. They did do it a second time already. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do a third because it's still a very dominant gun to use in Warzone. Um, so getting used to this AK-47 might set you up for that upcoming possible nerf for the Amax. Um, and then one of the big issues I had with the AK-47 Cold War um, pre-patch was just the scope. It wobbled way too much. But ever since they fixed it and they made it look more like the VOK scope and they got rid of that visual recoil or wobble left and right the ak-47 cold war is actually is actually a really good weapon to use in warzone and i highly recommend you guys use it just in case the amax does get nerfed i wouldn't be surprised if the cold war ak starts you start seeing this thing in your lobbies all right so let's go ahead and look at my third favorite assault rifle all right, and my third favorite assault rifle to be using in Warzone right now, you guys might be thinking I'm crazy, but it has to be the Kilo, okay? So we're running the normal build. Everyone knows it's mono, largest barrel, VOK, command of four grip, and the 60 rounds. So you guys think I'm crazy because the Kilo was long time ago known as the no recoil, easy beaming from across the map. But the thing now is because there is a second drop off, damage drop off around 85 meters, 83 meters, you have to play very aggressive with the kilo. So if you play within 85 to 83 meters, it's still going to have the same damage profile pre nerf. So if you guys want to play very aggressive and you guys want to use something really easy, I mean, the AMAX is easy enough, but if you want to use something even easier than that, Try the kilo again, but just make sure you're playing within the 85 meter range. As soon as you get past the 85 meter range, it's going to shoot marshmallows. That is going to be the truth. And that is one of the things that I guess more beginner players are going to not want to play the kilo with. If you're an above average player and you know how to use the kilo and position yourself correctly, uh, you're going to position yourself at 85 meters. And you're going to use this thing and it's going to be great. It's going to feel like the old kilo all over again, but you guys should definitely give it a try. Check it out. It's pretty freaking amazing. I got an amazing clutch with the kilo. Let's go ahead and look at the last loadout. So my last favorite loadout is going to be the PKM. What I'm running on it is the mono, the extended barrel, tack laser, VLK, and the snatch grip. So if you guys don't know, the snatch grip is a unique grip for the 
PKM, it's recoil control and gives you ADS speed. So the PKM has a really nice ADS speed with that tackle laser and that snatch grip. And the recoil control is actually really easy on the PKM. And you also have that 100 round mag. So it's super easy to wipe a whole freaking squad. And it's also really easy to mount up. There's like almost no recoil with the PKM once you're mounted. Uh, the biggest issue with the PKM would be the movement speed. And then other people will say that the reload time is also a big issue. But I find that the PKM having that reload issue gives you the mindset you have to play just a little bit slower okay because uh, i know a lot of people want to play fast they want to go in all the time but it's also very important to take the time to know how to position yourself to be able to reload because at the bcam once you just know you have like what three seconds or something to just reload maybe even a little less you're gonna be fine and this thing's gonna shred and it's gonna have almost no recoil it's gonna be amazing primary rifle to use go ahead and give it a try if you guys haven't already and here is a time to kill comparison chart between all four of the blueprints i just showed you guys and also the amax okay so the amax is this purple line right here so even after the nerf it's still a very competitive gun to use um but right above it is the AK-47 Cold War. So as you can see, it's still, it is a viable choice to play very aggressive with if you want to use that same play style as the AMAX. And like I said, of course, the AMAX is king right now, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have another small light nerf coming for it in the future. So if you guys want to give the AK-47 a try, I say you guys should give it a try just to see if you're going to be able to transition once that possible nerf comes for that AMAX. And then in this green line right here, that is the AMAX for you all. So the first drop off for the AMAX is, I'm sorry, the first drop off for the Ram 7 is around 42 meters. But like I said, the Ram 7 has very minimal recoil. So once you hit your headshots, let's go ahead and look at headshots real quick. And once we look at headshots, we notice that the Ram 7, which is this green line, is actually the fastest time to kill out of all these assault rifles, including the LMG or the PKM. So that just shows you how, how good the Ram 7 can be once you get a handle on that very light recoil. So go ahead, give the Ram 7 a try. I tell you guys, it's very competitive. Let's go back to chest shots. So we're back to chest shots and we're looking at the kilo and the BKM. So like I said, the kilo and the BKM are very similar. The BKM is this light blue line right below the kilo. And the kilo is that nice light blue line. All these goddamn colors look the same to me. But okay, the darker blue, whatever the hell this thing is, purple. Let's, let's say purple, yeah. So uh, that thing right there, this bottom line is the BKM and that thing shreds, okay? very minimal recoil and on top you see the kilo here it goes all the way down here it's still slightly slower than the pcam and it drops off here and then it drops off a second time that second drop off for the kilo is around the 86 meters like i told you guys if you guys use the kilo and you guys really still love the kilo you just got to make sure you fight within those 86 meters and you're still nice and good okay but the pkm look at this bad boy okay Similar recoil, I'd say even maybe a little bit easier than the Kilo and faster to decay and through range all the way through has a faster time to kill than the Kilo. So if you're loving the Kilo and you're still using it as a very long range, not that aggressive AR, I recommend you try using the PKM, all right? The PKM will be very good to you. So this is just a small TTK chart about four of my favorite assault rifles that I am currently using in Warzone. If you guys want me to use your gun or your blueprint, do me a favor, go ahead and comment down below and I'll give that bad boy a try, okay? I'll give that bad boy a try as long as it's not some goofy stuff, all right? Keep that goofy shit out of my uh, comments down there. But if you guys comment something decent in the comments, I'll go ahead and try to give it a try. Um, go ahead and comment what you think should also be in this uh, list because there's definitely a few more. There's definitely a few more that I'm holding out on you guys. But I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, this is just my favorite assault rifles that I currently like to run in Warzone. Comment down your favorite loadout. Do me a favor, if you guys found value in this video, smash that like button. Uh, it's totally free and you know helps me out a whole bunch. And if you guys wanna see more Warzone stuff, that helps by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification button. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. A peace.